Welcome to the Rookie Scouting Report. I'm Garrett Nichols, and today we'll be breaking down some of Kelvin Harmon's plays versus Boston College. Harmon is one of the most ferocious run blockers in the 2019 class. This is just one play, but I highly recommend checking out the full game to see it. He just simply attacks the defenders. Couldn't find a way to get separated from the defenders on this play. Very physical route, but that didn't stop him from making the catch. As soon as he was able to, he turned and located the ball and managed to get his body in front of the defender. Great defensive play, but this shows why Harmon is heading to the NFL. This is one of my favorite plays from Harmon. He makes a spectacular catch, and what's impressive is right after the catch, he has the presence of mind to turn downward and locate the sideline and get a foot inbounds. Great body positioning and all-around awareness from Harmon on this play. This play ended up incomplete, but wow. The second angle was a little better, but you can see Harmon is very skilled at getting his body in position to make a play on the ball. Even with an arm tied up in the defender, he still managed to get a good position for the ball. I like the slight jab here at the defender. It was just enough to back the defender off, gave Harmon the cushion he needed for the hook. We'll see it from a different angle here, and I'll pause it when Harmon makes the catch. You'll notice, again, he makes the catch, and his eyes immediately locate the sideline. Great awareness on the play overall. A broken play leads to another sideline catch for Harmon. At this point, it's becoming second nature for him to make catches like these. Presence of mind to wave his hands at the QB when he was wide open. Great play. Harmon goes a bit off screen here, and unfortunately I don't have another angle, but once the catch is made, he does a good job of getting upfield and muscling his way for a first down. He may not look like he has the size, but trust me, this guy can muscle his way past defenders. Again, a little hard to see at the bottom. Harmon's breakdown is that the hitch was so quick that the defender didn't even have time to make a break on the ball. The QB did a good job timing the route, and Harmon was wide open for the short game. I expect his use in the NFL to be similar to what you've seen so far in this game. Great route here. I would have liked to have seen the out route a little quicker. Uh, it seemed like he rounded the corner at the top as opposed to a little quick cut. The defender still had no time to make the break. QB did a great job getting the ball timed perfectly. Doesn't turn and burn the defender, but gets just enough separation to gain a stride. That step helps set up a great catch, just bodies his way into the touchdown. Nice throw, great route running. Another one of my favorite plays from Harmon, watch as he goes in to nudge his defender whilst keeping an eye on his actual assignment. When the ball carrier gets close, Harmon switches to a single hand on the defender and lines up his shoulders towards his assignment. Harmon manages to drag the defender just inside the hash marks, which is key for the ball carrier, to be able to bounce outside. Great awareness on this play. His run blocking is seriously ready for the NFL. The deadly double move. I understand this play ends up in an incomplete pass, but look at the defender when Harm is making his cut. The route was perfect. The defender didn't know which way he was going, and if you take away that safety making a great break on the ball, this play is an easy six points. Great stuff. This seems like a simple hitch route, but watch how Harmon breaks down. He takes a long step just before starting into his hitch. This long stride sends the defender back as he's expecting a deeper route. Instead, Harmon takes the stride, sinks his hips, followed by a stutter step, and then turns to catch the ball before the defender even makes a break. Not a double move by definition, but a nice fake out. Some of Harmon's pros, he's a great route runner, has strong hands, very good awareness of where he is on the field, his run blocking is amazing, and he's able to pick up the ball quickly in the air. Some of the cons I'm worried about is his yards after catch ability. The NFL teams that I think would best suit him would probably be the Colts. I think he'd be a good complement to T.Y. Hilton's style of play. There's no real red flags with Harmon. He came out of high school as a three-star wide receiver, turned into an NFL-ready wide receiver by year three. He can make the big plays and keep the chains rolling. Doesn't mind. In fact, he thrives in run-blocking situations. This wasn't even his best game, and he's still filled with impact plays across the board. I'm curious to see his 40 time. I don't believe Harmon is ever going to be a speedster in the NFL, but he has a high football IQ and is a very polished route runner. Thanks for tuning in for another Rookie Scouting Report with Garrett Nichols. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe if that's what you want to do. Either way, have a good night.